This video is not sponsored by Satisfy, rather it's sponsored by myself and Satisfy, and we'll get to that. Links below. realize how much stuff came out today. I didn't intend this to be a GameStop haul video. It's funny because I was standing in that massive line and everyone was so confused like, what, what are you here for? Is, is this all for Far Cry 6? <laughs> Some lady came in trying to find the Pokemon line. We were like, no, it's just all the same line. Oh! I didn't realize this was so big. That's, mm. I thought the special edition was gonna be like, like this! I didn't think it was like this! <laughs> this is awesome! It has a really nice reflective groove look to it. Oh, the back is sick. I also didn't have this on pre-order. They just happened to have some. Uh, I, I did get Far Cry 6 because... I mean, why not? I was there. Whenever I'm back from Philadelphia this weekend, going to too many games, we'll do a Twitch stream where we unbox all of this. But I know none of this is why you clicked on the video. It's my birthday in two days. It feels like it's my birthday already. And honestly, all I want to do is play Metroid. But I know why you clicked on the video. You clicked on the video for this. And I'm very excited. I finally get my white switch OLED. That reminds me, I should probably go and get my other OLED. I left it downstairs. Um, hold on. Got it. Here's the thing. I've already had my OLED for a week and a lot of people have been messaging me and asking me if I've noticed the big issue with the new OLED. Because there is one. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking. I'm sure there was a reason, but it messed up everything and we'll get to that. Let's open the OLED first. I'm so excited to see the white Joy-Cons and the white grip. This is my second time unboxing an OLED, so we're gonna do it a little quicker so that we can get to the good stuff. I'm very, very nervous about this video. I've filmed like 700 videos for my channel. I have never been this nervous and it has nothing to do with opening this OLED. So let's do that, and then we'll talk. Oh, that's so exciting. It's so much cooler than the red and blue. I really wish I had got this one first. It's so clever that the white refresh on its own looks so good. But the fact that they timed the release with Metroid Dread, I mean, surely they made this guy white on purpose, right? Because he is like the theme of the new Switch. Here's what I've already decided I'm going to do because I've been playing this OLED a lot over the last week. I've become attached to it. Also, I really don't want to have to reprogram and remove and re-download all my stuff again. So I'm just gonna do this and no one's gonna be the wiser. I'm not gonna know. You're not gonna know. I have my OLED here. <laughs> and this brand new crispy one can get my weak old Joy-Cons. And I've already offered it to Kim. I don't think Kim really cares too much about the OLED. But something else that's different is this dock. And I'm so much more excited for this dock than the other one. Feels weird to be excited for a dock, but... You ready for this reveal? Like a magic trick. <laughs> It's pretty smooth. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> That's so much cooler. This is so much cooler than the other one. I'm sorry, but the neon is old news. White is the way to go. That is sick. That looks so good. It looks like the Switch 2. I love it. It also looks like the PlayStation 5 a bit. Like a weird PlayStation 5 portable. But I, I don't hate that. I kind of like that. The PlayStation 5 color scheme really grew on me. So because I cheated, we can instantly turn on my white Switch. And I'm already good to go. See? I planned ahead. What, what, you guys think I'm not smart? Easy peasy. But now you might be thinking, Wood, I clicked on this video for two reasons. One, to see that gorgeous OLED. And thank you for showing it to me, Wood. I really appreciate you. But two, you said there's a big problem with the new OLEDs. I wasn't clickbait. Uh, I wasn't lying. 
There is. A lot of people have been tweeting this at me and messaging me and asking me if I've realized. Can you see it? Hold on. Let me, let me, you might, you might see what I'm talking about. What about now? Notice a difference? Yeah, I'm being a little coy, but the new OLED switch, it's one millimeter wider than the regular. What difference does a millimeter make? I know it sounds ridiculous, but even increasing the switch's size by one millimeter, it doesn't fit in the grip anymore. In fact, this new OLED has destroyed a lot of switch accessories that have come and gone because they won't fit to the form factor of the new switch. So the last week, I've been having to play without a grip and it's gross. I, I feel like I've traveled back to 2017 and I don't like it. And now this is why I said earlier in the video that I was nervous because I, I am really nervous for what I'm about to tell you. I actually have a pretty big announcement. I work closely with Satisfy, very closely, and have done in the past. They've sponsored videos. When we realized that the old grips weren't going to fit the new Switch, we saw an opportunity to make something really cool for when the OLED came out. I have never done anything like this before, and the trust that Satisfy has put in me to create this with them is nerve-wracking so i i really need your support on this and i and i need you to oh my god <laughs> some keen observers have already noticed this but over the course of the last few months i've been using this yellow grip on my switch this is a beat-em-ups satisfy grip I am so incredibly excited. <laughs> this is completely different to anything I've done before. Like, sure, I have merch that you can buy t-shirts or whatever, but everyone does that. You just slap a logo on a shirt design and there you go, you have a shirt. This actually took a lot of work. This is something that Satisfy and I have been considering doing for over a year. And actually, the process started all the way back in April. In April, we started testing designs, patterns, colors, all kinds of stuff. I have video of me getting sent these back in April, it, opening them. The, essentially, I wa we wanted to figure out what color scheme I wanted and, and in what fashion I wanted the logos. Here is the official beat-em-ups satisfy grip. I need to explain why it looks a little different to this one. We couldn't get one made in time to announce them. We're taking pre-orders for them now and they're shipping in November. But the grip that you're seeing, these images, is actually the Gen 3 grip, which this isn't. This is the Gen 2. This grip won't even fit into the OLED either. So what we've done is created a grip that is bigger, that will fit the OLED, but has much nicer rubber inserts that have more give, but they're still really sturdy. So if you put a regular switch in, the one you probably already have at home, the one you've been using for years, it'll fit nice and snug into the Gen 3 grip as well as being able to fit the OLED. It's a grip that'll fit both versions of the switch. It has what, what Satisfy is calling a patent pending free float technology where the rubber inserts are so quality and designed in such a way that no piece of the grip's plastic will ever touch your switch. The switch is always, no matter what kind you have, completely 100% floating in the grip. Just like this grip, floating in a way where it's super secure and nothing is gonna shake it out. So, we have on the front, the Beat'em-Ups logo on the left-hand side for a couple of very dorky reasons. Uh, one, Link is left-handed. I have always liked left. Also, you read left from right, and I'm left-handed. So I thought on the left actually looked kind of sick. And then on the back, we have the Beat'em-Ups logo again on the left, but with limited edition and my signature. Actually, it's funny. The signature was something that I kind of came up with like a week ago. <laughs> we had the design completely finalized, and I messaged, and I was like, hey, can we... uh?" Could we put a signature on there? And they were like, oh, yeah, we'll try. And I went to work actually creating the perfect signature, trying to get it so I did it as perfect as possible. And it's actually this one right here. 
that's going to end up on the grip. But I'm going to tell you why I decided to go for this yellow and blue look, which I love, by the way. I think it looks super fresh. I mean, uh, my first thought was I wanted something that you can already... I wanted a color scheme that you can already buy. The reason why I went with yellow specifically is because... For the last eight years of having my channel, one thing has been consistent and has never changed. And it's been the banner for my for my channel, the background of the banner anyway. I've shaped a lot of my stuff around yellow because of that. In fact, my beat em ups logo has a yellow outline around the edge. So my two thoughts were one, this middle part with my logo ends up resembling my YouTube banner in the way that it's been for years. But once you put a switch into it, no matter what switch you have, now your switch is framed with yellow, just like my beat em ups logo is framed by a yellow outline. I thought that was really cool. And then the reason why I chose blue for the back is a little obvious. My logo is predominantly yellow and blue. It has a blue background, blue back. I just think it's really cool. But again, we went through a bunch of different colors and I just, I liked a lot of them. We have this blue front and red back and this was back when we were trying to slant the beat em ups and I hadn't had the thought to put limited edition on there yet. I mean, the red one looks nice when you plug it onto a red switch, I guess, but at the same time, it it doesn't, like it doesn't give it any character or any personality. I've tried my yellow grip with every color scheme I have and I felt like it looked nice on everything. It popped on literally every scheme. I can't put it on my OLED right now, but there's mock-ups of it on the OLED. I was actually worried about, you're getting this nice fresh white switch, you're gonna throw a yellow grip on it. But I actually saw some of the pictures of these mock-ups and I thought, oh, it actually looks pretty fresh on that as well. Which again is why I, I've been so nervous to actually announce this and reveal it because Satisfy has put so much work and invested so much into this project with me already just sending me all of these, let alone all the redesigns. So here is everything. I'm really nervous. This is to a point where my brand means something. My brand, you guys have helped my brand get to a point where another company, a successful company, wants to stick my brand on something they're doing that's already very successful in hopes that it will be even more successful, which is so surreal. I honestly can't believe it. I can't thank you guys enough and I can't thank Satisfy enough. So I really don't want this to fail. <laughs> okay, this bigger and better third gen beat-em-ups grip is on sale right now at Satisfy. You can click the link in the description if you want to pre-order one and help me out. It's the easiest, most comfortable, best fitting grip that you will buy online. It's extremely comfortable. It gets rid of any of those aches and pains you get from playing Switch for more than 10 minutes. It is the Switch accessory. I mean that, I stand by that. I cannot play my Switch without it. It's been painful playing my OLED for a week without one and I still have to wait a month for my special beat em ups grip to get here until I can stop playing that way. There is a link in the description of this video if you would please click it and consider buying one of my special beat-em-ups grips. I I just really appreciate it. All right, I need to edit this really quickly because I have a flight tonight, taking my OLED with me. I'm gonna play some Metroid on the way. All right, guys, links below. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you. Bye.